Hey everyone, it's Nate May, and I'm really excited because I just got this in the mail, and this is a little book that I wrote, and I've never written a book before, so I'm really excited to see how it turned out. Um, and the book is The Synthase Guide to Chords. It uh, has 11 uh, commonly heard chords illustrated, talked about in a way that's useful for composers, songwriters, improvisers. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how I put together this book and like what some of my inspirations were because it's a little bit unusual, unusual for like it's not you know your standard kind of chord dictionary. It's a little bit it's a little bit different than that. So my dad is a botanist and we have a lot of these kind of lying around the house. These are these Peterson field guides. Oh, this one has a little ruler in the back so you can measure your lizards. And the, I don't know, these just kind of have a special place for me because they remind me of a lot of walks in the woods and things like that. Um, I also have this book, A Natural History of North American Trees. And the way he writes about trees is just so, beautiful like here's the entry on the sugar maple the foliage of sugar maple at once outdoes and unifies the rest so i kind of wanted to take all that and apply it to chords because i'm really nerdy and i enjoy chords and enjoy their different kind of flavors and characters and i think it's useful to be able to recognize them when you when you hear them so that's the approach i took for the synthase guide to chords here it is and then it, it could be like they might have completely messed up the printing. I don't know. We're about to find out. So let's take a look. Do I need to do ASMR things? Okay. Okay. I am pretty nervous about this. Uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Nice glossy cover. It's got the barcode on the back, which like 10 year old me would have been so psyched about this. So I had this printed in full premium color. These gray boxes are a little green, but I'll take that. Yeah, so let me talk you through this book a little bit. How do I love thee? Let me count the illustrations. One, two, three. One, two, three, 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 four, five, five, nine. Okay, so this thing has about 54 illustrations. Um, it's 50 pages long. Ooh, it says made in the USA. That's great. And in addition to the illustrations, it has these uh, paragraphs about each of the chords that I wrote, um, where I talk about uh, where you can hear these chords and their flavor. The illustrations are a little bit unusual. Um, in addition to, to standard notation, this is just an example of a voicing you could play. Um, and here's that same voicing on a piano keyboard. Um, I also have the chords illustrated on this thing that I call a key ring, which is uh, kind of a tool that I developed to show, to, to unify all of the different ways that this chord can be played in a single image. So I think this is a really powerful way to show the chord because it's all the transpositions and all the inversions. It shows you all the intervals and you can see how many of each interval there are in the chord. And uh, there's a little bit of additional information here about the abbreviations, the set class if you're into that, but if you're not, you don't have to worry about it, and then like which scales you can find it in. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm, uh, I put a lot into learning Adobe InDesign and Illustrator and uh, getting this to look the way I wanted it to. And um, yeah, check it out, it's on, it's on Amazon. Thanks for watching.